first. It was Zaza. Zaza. And now it's Zekken. Where is Zekken? This isn't Johnny Black, right? It's a totally separate character. And the interesting thing is this character apparently should have been the one to have the dual wheel skill. But because he didn't have it in SAO, we are confirming that he is not a previous SAO player. How the fuck is he so good, though? He's a converted character, and he just already this OP beating everybody. Apparently, even Kirito lost. And now, Light Flash Asna is about to go in and try to defeat Zekin and obtain this 11-hit multi-series OG sword technique. Let's begin today's reaction. Dude, Zekin just sounds like an actual, like, mini-boss in an MMO. Where he just appears in the small island on floor 24 at 3 p.m. every day. Guys, get your alerts ready. When 3 p.m. hits, we gotta do our fucking mini boss. Did hey. someone drew dicks on your face, Papa? Logo out. Link end! Link ends. And we're back. There is something so dystopian about this. Right? It's like, when we're in the game, we've been so vibrant, we have a family, we have friends, loved ones, we're all happy, and as soon as you link end, it's just dark room by yourself in a bed. Like a fucking, just like a, I don't know, like a doll plugged to a fucking machine. It, it, there's just something so dystopian every time we link end. But when we link start, everything's happy happy. This might not be too far off in the future, guys. Within the next 10 years, Straight up, with the technological advancements we're going through, like, this might not be too far off, man. Okay, rich girl! Asna house theme is uh, very spooky. She doesn't like it here. Hmm? What did she gotta go do today? Zekin is today's episode's title? Ah, shit. But we're... The title is Zekin, but we're doing Asuna IRL. Is Zekin one of the people around Asuna's IRL? Asuna's dad is Zekin. So rich. Oh, lonely housewife. At least Asuna is very uh, humble, proper, well-mannered. Not an elitist rich girl, right? I want to see the mom. I want to see the brother as well. Is the brother second? Am I second? Oh, there's mom. Dark room. Candles. It's a very strict, huh? She just looks rich. Hmm. This is so awkward, bro. Yeah, honestly. Of course, they don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. Money is the least of their concerns. But holy fuck, this is a nightmare situation. Imagine every day you got to deal with parents like this. I would... I would want to run away. I would want to run away. Yes, they're super rich and super entitled, but like, fuck, this sucks. Game and mom. That's such a boomer shit, dude. That is such a boomer way of saying, well, you're, you're typing on the laptop to take no, no, you gotta write with your pen and pencil. You're not gonna learn anything if you fucking type with your technological advancements? Ah, uh, traditionalists. Very old fashioned traditionalists. Very anti tech. You know, if you're not in person, they're not real people. Why alone? Now, if you do it together, then it's highly collaborative and could be more efficient in studying. But let's get real. I think we were fucking around last episode with our friends. Two years behind because of that SAO incident. 
So Asna has a brother and a sister. There's two siblings. There's two uh, uh, siblings of Asna, right? So three children total. What is that? Like a fucking business report? The report card? It's a fucking Mickey Mouse school? That tutor is Zekin. Imagine it's Sugo. Someone as creepy as Sugo. College? Wow, nepotism, great. All her friends! That is heavily min max optimized. He's not even spending a full year there. Just go in there half a year. You can graduate high school and go to college in September. And in terms of productivity, efficiency, Setting Asuna up for corporate success in the real world, yes, this is probably the optimal path, but goddamn, mom, not everything is about that. This is terrible. I feel like a lot of kids are stolen. Like, like when I was in college, when I was at UBC, when I was like, um, I think like, yeah, I think it was like my first year of college. I was like 18, 19, and there was this girl named Maggie Chen. Maggie was fucking different. She was the type that could like smell numbers. She's like some, it's insane how smart she was. But she looked really young. And I'm like, hey, what high school did you go to? And she's like, I didn't go to high school. I'm like, what? I'm like, how old are you? And she's like, I'm 13. And I'm like, what? How is that possible? Because for super gifted children and super helicopter tiger parents, they have these programs to expedite all that process, skip all that bullshit high school education, and jump to college and graduate earlier. But what often happens with kids like that is they don't develop socially. They don't spend enough time with people their own age doing what they should be doing. 13-year-old kids should not be at college learning about how mitochondria is the powerhouse to the cell. 13-year-old kids should be hanging out with their friends, gaming, you know, developing these other skills. But when you skip these fundamental things a human must, you know, go through and you rush to the end product, they kind of become like robotic and zombie-like and they can't adapt to society well. This is kind of the same thing where the parents are kind of like really forcing you to be in the optimal path. But I see a lot of kids, even though they're so gifted academically and it looks like they have so much success, they feel lost and have no sense of self. They don't know what they want to do because they've always done what they need to do. Mom will say, fuck you. SAO school. <laughs> yeah, well, she's probably not wrong, right? SAO school probably is a little fraudulent, but we got friends there, mom. <laughs> She's probably right about that. <laughs> Shut up, Asuna. Oh, yeah, 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 what am I, a mosque to you? Are your fucking friends' kids? Nah, dude. They're not my fucking friends. Those friends are the children of the mom's peers. And, you know, when you're in this kind of elitist social group, what happens with Asian moms, bro? They always talking about that other kid. Oh, Kevin's gonna be a doctor. What are you doing, huh? You know? They always do that shit, comparing kids. Oh, my kid's gonna be a lawyer. My kid going to Harvard. Fuck you, mom. You doing this for your own clout. I ain't gonna lie, that dad is fucking trash. That dad's money is probably what's funding the nurturing, though, yeah. True. How do you know that, mom? Mom just needs to come in the game with us? Join SAO ALO? Get Kirito to rizzer up. Join the harm, mom.
She ain't gonna be saying that shit no more. Mm, that's what I'm thinking. Let her game with us. I know. The arranged marriage kind of thing? True. The 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 this the tring sound is gonna happen, right? This always happened when like death gun was kind of around, but now it's fucking mom. That's terrible. <laughs> they always do that. The <laughs> they they always play that during like moments of bad events happening. Did she drink? I don't think she really drank there. <laughs> the second dude. あなたの言う、やりたいことだってできなくなっちゃうわよ。なんで、レクトの経営を危惧したの。だ、ナスウ、ヒーズインジェイルライトナウ、ライト。ねえねえ、で、ウォーキングアバウトシュタノ。だ
This is getting so personal, dude. Oh my god, imagine saying that to your mom? This episode is insane! No. Slam the door. Slam the door. That's right, that's right, that's right. Mom's a thirsty gold digger. <laughs> Make sure that the amount of information and sensory stuff in VR MMOs is enhanced so that the next time we fuck, you can actually feel something and you don't have to actually fake it. That's right, SAO2 is coming. Literally, Atmosphere 2.0. Nerve Gear 2.0. Like, that dream is insane. This is not something like, oh, one day I want to, like, open up my restaurant. Oh, one day I want to open up my bakery. Oh, I know I want to learn this thing. Like, these are, like, ambitious goals, sure. But, like, what Kirito just said, he's literally saying, I will advance civilization into the next fucking generation with my Nerve Gear 2.0 and completely change, like, human society as a whole. And mom thinks that that is not good enough. What the fuck are you looking for, mom? Roleplay. Now she's a fucking berserk healer, bro. Blue hair berserk healer. We fell off. But if we beat Zuckin, if we beat Zuckin, maybe we get that flashback. <laughs> This is great, though, not because Asta is facing so much depression, but because the main heroine of the show is finally getting the spotlight back. Yeah, she knows still around, but hey, Queen Asta is back, man. Main girl is back. All right. Floor 24 something, 3 p.m. Are we ready for the duel? The second? <laughs> Yui. Looks like she wanted to say something to Kirito, but couldn't. Let's kill it and eat it. She flexed her rich house. It was worth a lot of money. And then we fucked. Made us do my fucking ass, bro. She's like, oh, level 10 cooking skills. Chop. And everything was made. <laughs> what? You want me to fucking tell you about the time that we smashed in your bed? And I kept saying, oh. Oh, Rosaria! Well, was that her name? Rosaria or something? Oh! And then Asta said, What did you just say? No, no, no. Kirito said, That's what you get! Fuck you, Rosaria! Something, right? Because it was like, uh, Rosalia. Because it was like, This is the deepest you'll ever be. But technically, you know, that was abridged and not the official. But it's all the same. <laughs> okay, mini boss time. Zekin has spawned. Zekin's gonna spawn anytime soon. Yeah, I can't believe it either. And you got off screen. We didn't see it. It's showtime! Totally living in this world. What do you mean totally living in this world as if he's not an actual player? Is he actually an NPC who's super strong? What do you mean totally living in this world? He plays multiple. Zekin was a product of the full dive environment itself. The Zasido. Full dive. Many different games. He's played many, many different games. He's sweaty as fuck. Converted. That's why he's so strong. He has no life. He has no responsibilities. He is the ultimate neat with infinite time to grind a game. Cooked. Cooked. Go back to fucking Clyde. Cook trio showing up. Oh, hum, oh, hum. Look at these three. Mad. Jealous. There he is. Above. 
Her? Her? What do you mean stop her? That ain't Zekin! That's a girl! Boy? What do you mean we are are you Mother Rosario? Where's Zekin? Cause we never saw Zekin. That image of Zekin, the brutish man, was an idealized image from Asuna thinking that that was Zekin. We never saw Z Oh. 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 Alright, uh, Zekin's a girl! Which means... <laughs> Another girl added to a harem which is gonna be added into the cuck roster after this arc. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> no, you didn't. Cause she was a girl. Ask that cuck by Zekin? Already? Halfway, what do you mean halfway? You did go easy. Asna versus Zekin, let's see it. Yo, if Asna loses this, it's gonna be a bad look, man. One-san, she's younger, yeah. Duel 1v1 Zekin, Yuki, Yuki Yuki D is nuts What do you mean Zekin? Where's Zekin? Don't you dare cliffhanger me Play the fight Play the fight She's kind of already losing. Oh, that's got to be fan service. Thank you, cameraman. Thank you, cameraman. Yeah, right on the underboob. <laughs> One clash, and it's looking like it's over. Warrior. Warrior. <laughs> the role play, bro. Uh... Nah, her heart is clouded with hesitation. She's not even thinking about the fight right now. She can't win like this. Oh, what's this pose? Oh, wait, the warrior eyes, bro. Oh, Yuki realized. You know, it gets serious when the characters fucking, you know, bang, suddenly start having shading on their eyes finally, and it looks darker, bro. Asuna's ready to kill, bro. That's loud as fuck. Nani! Are we winning? Oh, that's not ladylike, that's warrior like. What is the oh? Yo, why why is this fight so fucking good? Like the quality of the budgets, like did, did they just like fucking stall for three Tonki episodes so they could put all the budget into this one? Holy fuck! It's coming! Yeah, it's over. Asna's dead, guys. Wait, she didn't. Why? Stand proud. You're strong. Have this original skill. I've been looking for someone worthy. Why is Asuna worthy? I don't know. Oh? Are... Is Kirito getting cucked this arc? 
Wait a minute. The focus is on Asna and Zekin now. I... Is Kirito getting cucked his arm for the first time? For the first time! Finally, Kirito gets a taste of his own medicine? I'm down for this change. This is interesting. She's a whole ass wife, by the way. Leaving behind her husband and her kid, bro. Fucking hanging out with her new girlfriend, bro. Oh, what? Did we activate a fucking quest? What? Did we, did we activate some fucking quest? What the fuck? We need to save your people now? Help you? Sort of got Zekin is a fucking NPC, bro. Zekin is a straight up NPC that we just, you know, it's it's like a fucking field boss that spawns and was waiting for the, you know, the worthy one. And now that we trigger the conditions, we get a new fucking quest. And now we got to do what? Save her fucking people? That wasn't part of the deal, but it is what it is. And that's today's episode. Today's episode. Stuff with the Asana at the beginning, the IRL stuff. This is actually fascinating. I actually do enjoy a lot of the times that uh, we go in the... You know, like uh, IRL stuff and handle stuff outside because in the game we're kind of accustomed to that and my some people might not like the changes from in game to outside but it's like learning more about Asuna's family what the mom is like like damn there's a lot of fucking drama mom's a gold digger that's jealous that you know her parents were never rich and now she's trying to place Asuna in a really good space to have a career which actually means just selling your daughter off for an arranged marriage and Asuna's like fuck that shit I totally get why she hates her family even though they're loaded as fuck Sometimes it's not about the money. Of course, there's some families that's barely, you know, struggling to survive paycheck to paycheck and they got more bigger problems. But sometimes, even in super rich families, they have their own fucked up problems. Zekin was a girl, didn't even know, got baited. And Zekin's super strong, a product of nerve gear or product of full dive, sorry. Which means that this person is just chronically online or is a literal NPC that we triggered to get some kind of quest. I'm not sure, but the fight between Zekin and Asuna was amazing. The amount of animation budget that probably went into this is crazy. I do appreciate that they showed up for this fight. And now we're off to find Mother Rosario. That's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't get this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.